Hi, this is Tristan here from Shopify Ninjas and I'm going to show you how to use the Shortcodes app to create buttons and sections and tabs and a whole host of other things too. So let's say as a quick example, uh, on this page here I have a link. Let's say I want to make this a lot more obvious and turn it into a button. The way we can do this with the Shortcodes app is if you come into the back end of your Shopify store here, go across to Apps, and then to short codes. So I'll open in a new tab. If it's the first time, you might have to enter your Shopify URL and hit login. Once you're here, we can go to create. And here you'll see all the different types of short codes that you can create. So we've got a button, tabs, a note, and several others here. And you'll see when you put your mouse over the top, it gives you a little hint here about what each one does. So here in this example, we're going to create a button. So I'll click on button. And now there's a small form here. So we're just going to fill this out. And then it's going to give us some code, which we can then just copy and paste. So here, if I want to improve this, uh, let's say I want to have click here to buy. I can come in here and type click here to buy. Let's say I'm going to point it to one of my product page. Product one. If you need to get this URL, you can just click on it on your store and then copy the, the URL you want to send it to. Now padding is how much space is going to be around the edge of the button. So if you want just a little bit of extra padding, you could use 5. If you want it to be a really fat button, you could use 15. In this case, let's say we want to make it really fat, so I'll type 15. Now border radius is whether or not you want square corners or, or round corners. Let's say in this case we want rounded corners, so I'll type 5. You can choose whether you want it to open in the same window or in a new window. And you can also choose the color of the button and the text. So down the bottom here, you will see a preview. Let's say I want to have this as a green button to suit the rest of my store. And I want to make the text white. Now you'll see it here. Maybe I'll add an arrow here. So you'll see here's the preview of our button. That's what it's going to look like. When we're done, we hit generate code. And this will give us some code here on, on this, this right-hand side. All we do is hit copy and come across to the page in the back of our Shopify store. So go to pages and short codes examples. So this is where I was editing this page before. So you see we had this link. And what I'm going to do is replace this link that I had before with the button code. I'm just going to hit Control V to paste and hit save. Now if we hit view in store, come back across here, you'll see we now have a big button and obviously you could change the text. If you wanted to change the, the text to let's say click here to buy now, you can come in and change that here and hit save. So the Shortcodes app will, will help you to create these buttons and different elements very quickly. All you do then is copy and paste them into your store and away you go. So I'll show you one more example. Uh, let's say you wanted to create some sections that open and close for something like a frequently asked questions. Just create a new section for this by adding a line in here. All right. If we come back into shortcodes and hit create again, and then go to expandable section, let's say we want the text color to be black, hit generate code, and this will give us a sample to start using. So we can just hit copy, paste it in here, and you'll see we, we can see the text color. Now these titles you can edit, so this could be question one, and Answer one, question two, and answer two. So you could use this for something like frequently asked questions, or you could use it to show different content that you want to show and hide, depending on what someone is doing, to make it very neat. So once I've pasted that in there and edited it, if I hit save and refresh this page, you'll see we now have some uh, sections that will open and close with our frequently asked questions. 
So that's really all there is to it. The Shortcodes app will help you to create all of these things really, really quickly. You can have a look at the other videos if you need more information on how to do each of them individually. But that is the basics for everything you need to know. Thanks.